so well hello everyone today we are going to attempt to install Mac OS 9 I don't know if this will work but if it does we're going to post this as an episode of VM review if not then we're just gonna say this is a failed attempt okay Anyways, let's just begin. I don't know if this will run well because I'm using Windows computer, but we're still going to try. So, first we're going to have to download Sheep Shaver. I want to run Mac OS 9, so we're going to have to use Sheep Shaver, so we're just going to download. And it's done. Let's look inside the folder. Oh, these were made for a for a Macintosh computer. All right, so it brought us here. Now this is supposed to be the one with the Windows version. So, click. And there we go. Jeez, how long does it take for my computer to load 9 megabytes? That's literally how big it is. It's just 9 megabytes. Why is it so slow? So, I uh, it just downloaded and now we can do this. So, it says this is the best for Sheep Shaver. So, we're going to download the New World PPC ROM. And we're going to extract both the Sheep Shaver and the New World ROM. Okay. Extracted. Extracted. Or did it extract? Eh. So we're just going to click The Mac OS 9 boot image. Bootable image for Sheep Shaper. So there it is. OS 9.img. It's 488 meg. So it's done. And I think. And I guess we just have to load up this. So I'm just going to open the Sheep Shaver GUI. Alright. Let's just begin. First we're going to go to... We're going to... Like be here in the volume tab. Sorry if I stutter a lot. I just have trouble speaking with a script. So yeah, this is completely unscripted. and Yeah, so anyways... Volumes tab. On the Volumes tab, click Create to create a hard disk when you install Mac OS. Oh, we have to. Okay. So run the GUI on the Volumes tab. Click Add and navigate to your CD image. Select it. Click OK. Next step: C Volumes flow. Okay. It's all loaded up. Now we click create. Or wait, don't we need a ROM? Oh, okay. So I guess we just click create. All right, let's just click create. I'm just gonna create the volume file and name it OS9 just like the last one there we go
Sorry if I'm being incredibly dumb in this video. I just used to VMware. So set aside for the hard file. What? Okay, just give me a minute to work this out. Okay, that was another dumb attempt by me. I don't think we need to do it. I think it was just this. Sorry, I was just being incredibly dumb. So now we go over to the graphics and sound tab. Set your video type to windowed or full screen. So do we do a window or full screen? I, I, I like to do full screen. Uh, rather, let's just do a window. We could change this later. Set the refresh rate to dynamic. Set the desired screen resolution. Uh, so width. I guess we'll just do like a 1920 by 1080. A simple 1920 by 1080 should do. If you don't want sound to pour. Support, we we could select that option, but we're not going to do that. In the keyboard and mouse tab, you must, and it says in big bold letters, must use a key code file included in our download. All right, so we got the key codes in serial tab. Mono port, now nah, I'm not going to connect that to the internet. So, the network tab, again, not very good. Memory and miscellaneous tab, probably pretty important. So, select the RAM size, select the RAM size available for macOS and select the ROM file. So, it says here they have it at 512 megabytes. I'm going to try that too. Select don't use CPU when idle to allow shapeshifter to sleep when not active. It's already checked. Always select ignore illegal memory accesses. Got that too. Then the JIT compiler tab. It might, however, cause some sporadic crashes, so you can disable it. As PPC mask. Contain a 68k Mac emulator. The experimental option is provided to enable it. If you enable it, your mileage may vary. I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna do that. So, when the Mac boots, it'll ask you to initialize the hard disk you create. Give it just a name and click initialize, and then click continue. And then you just install. So, I don't know if this will work, but we're going to try. Start. System error. Cannot open ROM file. Did I not include a ROM file? Hold on. Alright, so I got a ROM file in. Let's click start. Oh, wait. Yo, yo, we got it working. We got it working. This, this is, is unreadable by the computer. We can do that. Let's just name it Mac OS 9. Then we're going to click initialize. Continue. So here it is. <laughs> Authentic and pretty good. Is, is this the thingy? Is this what I waited for? No setup, just straight to the point. Okay, I guess I can love with that. <laughs> Everything's everywhere. Is there a way to move this thing? Oh, 
Okay, so look at this. We have successfully booted into OS 9. It's cool. What do we got in here? Ooh, ooh, pretty good. Uh, let's see. Okay. I wonder if we can, like, restart the entire disk. Like, I wonder if we can reset the entire disk. So, let's just... About this computer. Mac OS 9. It's 9.0. Released in 1999. Okay. I wonder if we can go down to the system preferences. Control panels. that so this includes Sherlock 2 which is cool you can find stuff on your disk internet you search people. I didn't even do a network thingy. So I don't think it would really matter. Got some settings. I don't know how you can move this. It's like a hassle really. That's weird, but we got some stuff on here. System folder. Baby, we got some stuff on here. Got some. Sh we got any shutdown items? No. Got any startup items? No. Ugh. Okay, pretty good. We can even do the finder. Ooh. Preferences. Okay. I wonder if this was tampered with. Like, I don't know if this is already owned, but... I don't know why this is... Here. But overall, it's a pretty pleasant experience, and got some stuff here. We got Color Veta. What's this? Oh. Okay. Okay. Does the does the Alt key work as the Option key? I'm just gonna hold about this computer. Hold Alt and okay. Try that again. And there it is. There's mountain scenery. Got. Oh wait, no, it's not a mountain. It's the building. Finder 9.0, 1999. Okay, so yeah, pretty good. So yeah, this is actually going to be another episode of VM Review. So I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!